Guess what? We're going straight in there. What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. This one, this is gonna be a greasy one because we are gonna go put the tinny to work. Boy, I'm very, very bloody excited about this video. We are chasing some absolute slobs. We're out here in paradise. Look at this man. Look at where we are right now. It's a little bit overcast. It's a little bit gloomy. The wind is meant to come in very, very strong. We've got a window to get these fish on the deck. But oi, we're in paradise right now. Like I said, tinny, we're gonna give the tinny a flogging. missions like this, the froth levels are forever 110%. We've got the tinny in tow, we're on one of the most whitest, most incredibly beautiful beaches you'll see. Look at this man. Look at that sand bruh. Tinny in tow. Bruh, we're gonna have one of the most incredible days. Yeah, doggy. Froth levels are pretty bloody high. All right, these are the weapons that we're gonna be using today. Talica 25s. We're gonna be dragging lures around for the start of the day before that wind comes in. That's the plan anyway. Oh man. I can't wait to get out there. We've got about two hours, three hours of a window of wind. As soon as that wind comes in, it's gonna get very, very bloody rough out there. So we've got to make the most of this time right now. Let's go. Oh, the water is beautiful. Look how clear it is. First time every time. This is that good. Just about to deploy two lures out the back with a little bit of a concerning issue. I'm not, if it, I'm not sure if it's anything to concern about, but uh, we've got a little bit of water in the bottom of the boat right now. And uh, it's probably not a great thing, but I'm gonna give it, I'm just gonna fish and see how we go. If you look down here, that water, usually this boat's bone dry, but there could have been a little wave of water come in when I beach launched just then. See how we go. I'm just going to keep a very keen eye on it though because uh, we've nearly sunk this boat once. We don't want to do it again. I have installed a bilge pump, so I've got a switch down here. I can flick a bilge pump on and uh, should pump the water out. We should be able to make it back to land in time. But uh, guess what? We're going to deploy two lures, troll them around and see if we can get a slob on the deck because we are going to make one hell of a feed later on. First things first, we need a fish. Alright, be free. Alright, we've got one rod, we've got two rods, we're on the road. Let's just start trolling these lures along this ledge. See if we can pick up a big dirty Spanish mackerel or something like that. That's what we're sort of targeting right now. But the issue that we're going to have, this area right now is very, very thick with sharks. So um, if we get a fish or if we do hook up to a fish, we're going to have to pump it in or do something because I know the sharks are very, very thick up here at the moment, but you gotta be in, to, in it to win it, so that's what we're doing. We're just gonna drag these lures around. It's a beautiful day, it's not hot, the sun's not even out. Time right now is 7.20 in the morning. So let's see how we go. We've got a couple of hour window before that wind starts blowing its ass, so uh, let's get it, doggies. Next time I see you, one of these rods is gonna be bending. How? Oh, fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on, that rod there. All right, we've got fish on. Oh, this lure's just got smashed as well. <laughs> that lure's sitting there dead in the water and a fish just ate it. Not even joking. Oh, big boy. All right, all right, put that engine in neutral. Oh. 
This thing's running me around the boat. Holy moly. All right, we lost both of them. I don't care. They were small tuna. Not what we want. Now we gotta get this one up. This lure was just sitting there in the water doing nothing. First little bit of action for the morning, didn't take too long. That was a Mac, we had two Mac tuna on the, um, on the troll just then. It's definitely not what we're coming for. But there is a little bit of bird activity about 150 meters up here. So I've just brought the rods in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick a little stick bait straight into the middle of these birds and see if we can hook up to something. Big bait ball, big bait ball. Look at it all. They're going spastic. Pa! Oh, big shark in that one there. See that big shark explode that bait ball? Pa! Pa! Come on, there's got to be a fish on this cast, man. It's gone straight through the school. Is that a fish? That's a fish. That is a fish, doggies. Oh, oh yeah, that's a fish. Woo All right, we're onto a fish here. Just smoke that stick bait on the surface. Look at all the birds, man. Just casting lures on a bloody jigging rod. This is just probably going to be a Mac tuna. Uh oh, big shark. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Big shark under the boat. All right, we've got a Mac tuna here. Why? Don't do that. <laughs> Man, for a little fish, they got some go to them. Look at that shark down there, dude. I don't know if you guys can see this shark here. He's just hanging around, look at him. That's what I said, there's sharks everywhere right now. That right there is what you call a Mac tuna. Oh, nice colors in him, beautiful colors in him, but we don't want this fish. We're gonna let him go. Whoosh. See you later, buddy. Don't come back. <laughs> look at this, man. I've got to have one more cast, eh? How could you not have another cast right now? Might pick up something better. Straight into the middle of them all. There's birds everywhere, dude. Sight! Pa! All right, let's go. I'm wasting time on shit fish. Shouldn't be doing this. I've only got a window of wind and I'm catching Mac tuna. Mac tuna are no good eating. I don't want them. Let's go. We'll keep trolling these lures around. That's the sound you want to hear. Come on, big rig. All right, you stay there. This is very strange. It doesn't feel like a Mac tuna. It feels like a better fish. I don't know what we got here. It's not pulling like a Mac tuna would. Oh, hello. I'll take it. I will take, oh my God, he smashed that lure, boy. I'll take that every day of the week. Come here, big rig. Some people love these fish. Chill out, brother. Some people love eating these. Some people will hate them. Oh, and there he goes. Can I get him, can I get him? No, he's gone. God, I might be able to get it, you know. Come back up, Panga, back up. He's gone. Oh, you mongrel! You're joking me! I should have gaffed it at the start. What a dickhead. Oh, it's right there. Oh, there's a big shark. Look at this shark. The shark's gonna eat it. Push it up, push it up under the boat. Hope he's going on this side. Where is it? Big shark. Chasing a Kobe, a Kobe is right here. Oh, I got it! I got my fish back! I got my fish back! I got my fish back! Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? I got my fish back! That never happens! 
Holy smokes, dude. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> there is a massive shark down here trying to chase this fish. That shit just doesn't happen, dude. That just doesn't happen. Look at this thing. That is unbelievable. Big shark down here somewhere. Here he is, look. Holy smokes, look at the size of him. What is that thing? If you guys can see this. Oh, uh, is, is that a white? Hold on, I'm putting the camera in the water. The camera's going in. That's a very odd looking shark. Look at that thing. Coming straight up to this car. Oh, it's not, it's just a normal shark. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. <laughs> this is so sick out here. I love doing this shit, eh? Here he is. Thank you, shark. That shark actually made me catch that fish you sent. Right, 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 right. Right, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Slow down. Slow down. Oh my God, he's gonna smash every rod. All right, I've got to sort my shit out. Oh. Oi, when you're out here by yourself, doing these kinds of fishing missions, it can be so chaotic, dude. Like, just then, shit, <laughs> shit was going everywhere. What happened was, if you have a look at this, I was just gonna lift that fish into the boat. What happened was the actual wire trace snapped off. So I don't know what's going on there, if we've had a shark nibble at it or whatever's happened, but that wire trace been, has been snipped. And as I tried to lift that cobia into the boat, the wire popped. The fish was swimming around under the boat and then that big ass shark came from the depths and it pushed the fish under the boat. Then somehow, dude, I got a gaff. As it was swimming around the boat, I was just giving it oos, oos, and I finally it come right up onto the boat and I just give it pop and we got him up. So uh, that doesn't happen every day, my doggies, but this is what we just got. It's a bit of a swab of a fish. Big ring. That's what we just got then. So that is a beautiful cobia. Some people love eating them, some people don't. I reckon they're bloody delicious. But that's the fish we just got. He's bloody heavy. He's a big dog. That's the fish. It's not the fish we come for, but I'm gonna take him because these things are good chewing. Look at this. That lure is right down his throat. I'll show you guys that in a second, but there's the fish we got. Is a big, beautiful thing. Look at that. Good fish, good fish to start the session. Now have a look at this, would ya? He's absolutely sucked that lure down his throat like a barramundi would. I've never seen a cobia eat a lure like that before. It's completely inside its throat. Like, never ever seen a fish like a cobia take it like that. That's like barramundi spec. But I'll take it. I'm gonna get that lure out. We'll keep pushing, but it's a good one. He is a good one. I brought this big ass bag with me full of ice frozen bottles because you can't fit a fish of this size oh, in a normal esky. Look at that. That's bloody beautiful. This is so sick, man. Look at this right now. How good's living? This is absolutely bloody beautiful. Come on, you big dogs. Wanna get another one now? Oh, this looks a little bit interesting. Way, way, way out there on the horizon, there is a heap of birds diving, bombing. Looks like they're feeding on a big ball, ball of bait fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly start heading out to the horizon. The weather is actually persisting. The weather is beautiful right now. There's not a, I'm not even getting chopped in the boat. It's perfect. So um, I'm going to make the most of it. We're going to punch out wide quickly. See what these birds are feeding on and then we'll push back in onto the reef again. But right now it's our only chance to punch out wide. So I'm going to do it. Let's see what these birds are jumping on. There's birds diving everywhere. Bossa. Last cast, we'll keep trolling. 
All right, here we go. We've just come across a little bit of snot on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drop down a 100 gram pink glow in the dark FDYS jig. If you guys wanna get these jigs, they are available on the online shop right now. There's not many left, but we should be just coming over a bit of snot on the bottom. So I wanna see what what's down there. Quickly drop a jig, it's probably nothing special, but you never know. Water, bruh. That is ridiculously delicious. As if we're not going for a swim right now. Oi, that was a bloody good mission. We've just come back and back in on the inside. That wind started picking up just a little bit, but oi, I had so much fun out there, man. That was absolutely great. Now look at this water. Yeah, that's a nice little treat to come back to. We're going for a swim. Before we jump in that delicious looking water, I'm actually going to chuck the tinny back on the trailer just because I think that tide's going to start turning pretty soon. And this is going to be a mongrel to get on the trailer by myself on this angle right now. Let's see if we can do it. Go, 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 go. Stay there, stay there. Here we go, buddy. Up you come. Just get on that roller there, bud. If I can get it on the roller. There, go. She's coming. She's coming. She's on. Squeaky little fella. Yeah, she's back on. We're going straight in there. Look at it. Oi, what a bloody fun mission that was. We got one good fish on the deck. Some crystal clear water right here. Hey! Oh man. What a bloody good way to start a day, eh? Little bit of a cobia with the gaff. Now we're sitting in crystal clear blue water. I'm gonna cook up a feed. I'm absolutely starving. Obviously, we haven't eaten anything all day. We're gonna cook up that cobia right now. I'm gonna fill it him up. We're gonna cut him up. Oh, we're gonna cook a hell feed with these scenic views. That was a good day. That wind's just starting to puff up now. The wind held back for so much longer than I thought it originally was gonna. We were really, really kissed on the dick by the wind today. So uh, I'm frothing out. We only got the one fish. I was chasing the Spanish mackerel, but I'll take a cobia. They're not bad eating. It's just about as big as the bloody table. All right, I'm just gonna quickly rip two fillets off this fish big beautiful cobia they look like a shark in the water when you look at them down that way beautiful fish come right up into his head right back there follow that spine the whole way down the back all oh, that meat is beautiful and cold Oh, 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 look at this white meat, man. How good is it? The old Kobe has got a big set of rib cages on them. And they've got big knuckles in each bone. You can see it here, these big knuckles that run down the middle there. Quite annoying. Oh, my mama. Look at that for a fillet of fish. Beautiful, fresh fish. Got a little bit of an injury here. That's where the gaff went through the fish, but that's all right. We'll just cut that bit of meat out. What I'll do is flip him over. We'll do the other side, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna bag a bit of this up because this fish is gonna be shared between a couple of people. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. Two beautiful fillets. Look at this. What we're gonna do now is get a little bit of a longer knife. Leave yourself a little bit of finger room here. We're just gonna take the skin off this fish. Keep your knife on a 45. You just wiggle that skin. The skin will come off. Left with the beautiful bit of fish meat like that. Bang, just like that. You got a big bit of skin, no meat left there. On that side, bang, big beautiful fish fillet. Look at the fat, big beautiful bits of fat in this fish. See that there, that's fish fat. 
that will taste delicious and that there is a big bit of skin which the birds are going to froth on beautiful well while we're down here in this glorious kitchen look at this bloody place seagulls are getting one hell of a feed right now they're packing that skin while there's no tomorrow same with the fish carcass down there but we've got enough time to really look after this fish so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it into pieces about hand sized pieces like this cut down that middle section what you want to do is you want to take off this blood meat that doesn't taste no good so I'm just going to take my time now, nice sharp knife, cut that blood meat away, that's no good, birds are going to love it, I'm going to sit here and clean this fish up until we get nice white chunks of fish. Beautiful, beautiful big bits of fish. Going straight in these bags. There's a fair bit of fish here. A couple of kilos. Look at that white meat, man. That is beautiful. Better leave some for our lunch, eh? We'll eat these two big chunks here. This right here is going to be one of the freshest feeds going. We've got a gas cooker. We've got our fish down there. A little bit of butter. We've got Tandako seasoning, fish seasoning, and we've got another one of them bags. So what I'm gonna do is bust open that seasoning, empty that whole contents into there. Next, I'm gonna grab this incredibly fresh, look how white that meat is right there. You can see the rainbows in that bit of fillet there. Beautiful. I'm gonna cut him down here. We're just gonna cut him into little bite-sized pieces. About that big. And we're going to lob them into that bag of that seasoning and we're going to mix them up. Freshest fish ever, straight in the bag. Hey, if you were smelling what I'm smelling right now, you'd be pretty bloody. Your mouth would be watering actually. Look at these fish bites, golden brown. Little bits of goodness in that pan. They're almost like bloody chicken nuggets, eh? Have a go at that. Now what we got down here, we're about to make the hell of feed. We've got three bread rolls. I'm gonna destroy every single one of them. We've got tomato. Just gonna cut tomato up. Doesn't have to be fancy, but I tell you what, it's gonna taste that good. In here, this is Mac 10. Makes this incredible sambal. So this is like how spicy chilies from our chili tree at home. That onions from home, that tomatoes from home, obviously the lettuce ain't from home. Aioli garlic mayonnaise and a little bit of cheese. Man, these little burgers are gonna be so good. We're gonna get a generous amount of this. We're gonna be putting it on the top and the bottom layer of the bun. Next, cheese. We put a little bit of cheese on that bottom layer, just like this. You're gonna get a hot bits of fish, look at this. Bang, bang. Put that on the cheese, that should melt the cheese because these things are incredibly hot. Just like that. Now I'm gonna let that sit there. That cheese is gonna melt because that fish is boiling hot. We'll come back in 30 seconds and finish it off. We're gonna take some of this spicy hot sambal straight from my kitchen. That's probably too much. This is bloody hot, this stuff, but it's delicious. I'm gonna put that on the top of the bun, spread that around with that aioli. Boom, look at that. Now, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of red onion. This is looking incredibly good. You know when you don't eat all day and you're just starving? A little bit of that is going on top. The lid's going on top. Oh my. Goodness. That right there is the hella fish burger. Straight from the ocean, straight into me big gob. Cheers, buddy love is. Oh. 
Oh man. Look at where we are right now, man. Eating fish burgers. Whoa. That is delicious. <laughs> Three fish burgers gone. Man, I ate those things like they were going out of fashion. They were absolutely bloody beautiful. I reckon they taste that little bit better because we dropped the fish on the side of the boat. About five seconds of trying to hassle and hustle and trying to find the fish. We ended up gaffing that fish and bringing it back in the boat. Dude, you'd never do that even if you tried ever, ever again. That was the biggest fluke, but oi, we got the fish in the boat. That's so funny. I just had three burgers. I'm full as a boot. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go sit in that water like a fat sea lion and I'm just going to lay back and just chill out till the sun sets. That's me for the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was super fun. Look where we are right now. I'm legit the only person on this whole entire beach, apart from a couple of squawking seagulls in the background. This is living. All right, my doggies, I'll see you next week in the next adventure. Until then, much love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sua! Here we go, ready? Sort your shit out, field day. There's shit everywhere. Oh, that's gonna get smoked, ready? Five, four, three, two, nothing. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Dude, these things are like big slippery torpedoes. Fishing line everywhere. This thing even recording? Yeah, doggies, we're on. We're on.